Hey everybody, my name's Andy Boyce. This is Jana Freeman and Andrew Dreelin. Uh, we work for the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute out here in eastern Montana. And we are collecting what are called audio moths. These little remote circuit boards with a memory stick and a microphone attached. And we've placed these out here to survey for black-billed and yellow-billed cuckoos. Both of these species are, are really rare in this area. So we're testing out this new technology to see if we can do uh, a better job to detect these species in these remote areas. We left a recorder about a month ago, recording all the birds that are singing in this area for about an hour and a half every morning for 30 days. And here we are. Very nice. Ooh. That habitat we were just in that you can kind of see behind me there across the field this is you know mature multi-age cottonwood gallery forest along the Missouri River and you know one of the reasons we're so interested in yellow-billed and black-billed cuckoo populations out here is that these are these are two species that have not done well over the last 150 years especially in the western United States you only find these forests along you know big rivers that flood with some regularity so the combination of, you know, using a lot of water for agriculture and for human habitation in western cities, that combined with the damming of rivers, which reduces or totally, you know, obliterates natural flooding cycles, has really reduced the area of these healthy multi-age cottonwood stands. We're driving along to our next set of points to retrieve our recording devices. These are called the brakes here on the Charles M. Russell National Wildlife Refuge. We can just see how vast it is and why it's really necessary to put out these recording devices because it's just simply not feasible for uh, human observers to cover all of this ground. Whereas we can just place the recorders, have them out there and do our jobs for us. We're coming up to our final audio maw site of the season. We heard both yellow-billed and black-billed cuckoo at the site when we came and dropped off the recorders. Probably, probably the only the first or second time those birds have ever been seen in the same location uh, in the state of Montana, so that was pretty exciting. And here we are. Very nice. This is the prize from a full field season of work. What's tied up on these SD cards is over 260 gigabytes of sound data, a total of almost 950 hours of audio data. I am going to share with you now an exciting and sort of affirming bit of discovery I had last week. You guys might be able to hear, you know, a very quiet, somewhat distant sounding coo-coo-coo, coo-coo-coo. And that is the song of a black-billed cuckoo singing into the microphone of one of our recorders. And believe it or not, these four blobs right here, that is the cuckoo noise. We have sent these data through to our collaborators to automatically detect any and all cuckoo vocalizations. It's always, you know, a pretty big relief and uh, just sort of affirmation that the field efforts were worth it when you realize that you actually have recorded uh, your species of interest and that the technology that you you put to use actually worked in the way that you you hoped it would it looks like this is going to work out bye for now